Over the course of our career, Leslie and I have created different strategies to build generational wealth. Today, we're gonna teach you how to flip a house. This is Peraza Psychology. Today we are in Bay Park at one of our current projects that we're flipping. This home is a four bedroom, three full bath, single family residence with a one bedroom, one bath ADU. Now that in itself is pretty self-explanatory and pretty great, but today we're gonna teach you how to make tens and maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars. So let's start with the value. In May of 2021, this home was listed on our MLS system for 1.15 million. We thought we found a diamond in the rough, and I'm pretty sure we did. Because remember, as an investor, you're here to make as much money as possible. When you're in the flipping business, it's really important to be able to analyze and quantify that value add in a property. For this specific flip, we were able to target the condition of the home, the urgency of the seller, and the trend of the ideal buyer in this community. For this specific property, we identified three points that added a ton of value for the flip. The first one was the condition of the home. This home was built in 1951, and when we walked in here, it looked exactly like it was built in 1951. The second bullet point is the situation of the seller. In this case, it's a trust sale. What that means is that someone inherited the property, and they often want to sell the home quickly and with no repairs. The third and last item is really understanding the trend in demographic for a certain neighborhood. In this case, we have a two car garage that we realized we could convert into a one bedroom, one bath, detached studio, essentially. This would be great for an extended family, a family that has young kids, and maybe a high schooler or a college student that's ready to live on his own, but might not be able to afford to rent in San Diego. So now that we know that we can make some money, let's talk about the logistics, the financing, and the strategy that goes into actually making this a reality. So now that we've bought the home and estimated more or less the value that we could add, it's time to keep a couple things in mind. Our goal for this specific property was to convert a three bedroom, one and a half bath into a four bedroom, three bath, plus a one bedroom, one bath ADU. As you can imagine, that adds a ton of value, but one thing that you have to remember is that legally, you have to get all of this signed off by the city and you have to pull permits and sometimes it takes a lot of time. In this case, it was important to realize that since we were pulling permits, it was gonna take a little bit longer than just a cosmetic flip. Cosmetic flips could take anywhere between 30 to 45 days, but in this scenario, since we had to legally pull permits from the city, it's taken about six to seven months to make sure all of the safety codes are met. Speaking of money, you're probably wondering, how do I finance this? Our investor for this specific property took out a hard money loan. A hard money loan is when a borrower receives funds that are secured by real property. In this case, he has other assets like real estate that he's using as collateral. Another point to remember is that interest rates for hard money loans are often higher than your typical 30-year conventional FHA or VA financing. Financing is important because now that you have your hard money loan, you're gonna need your liquid assets and your cash to come in and install new flooring, to renovate bathrooms, to pull permits from the city, and all of that is essential to be able to add the value that we have been searching for from the start. We taught you how to find the home, we taught you how to add value to the flip, and we taught you how to finance to make sure you have as much profit at the end of the day as possible. Thanks for coming. This is Peraza Psychology.